Good morning everyone and welcome to the Conversation Marketing video tutorials. Uh, in this session I'm going to talk about how you can use Google Analytics and Google Custom Search Engines to analyze your internal site search data. And the first thing I should probably talk about is what exactly internal site search data is. Basically it's just the phrases someone may type into your own, into your own site search tool find content within your site. So if you compare it to say search engine terms or search phrases, internal site search phrases are the phrases that people type into the search engine that's built into your site. Uh, not all sites have search engines built into them, but they should. <laughs> um, and if you look down here you can see this is the search engine that's built into conversation marketing. And over here this is the search tool that's built into the Portent Interactive website. So this internal site search data is very, very important. And the reason it's important is because it shows what people are trying to find on your website. An internal site search is one of the few things on your site that are probably used by 10 to 20 to 30 percent of the people who visit your site. It's very hard to find any other one feature that gets that much attention. So it's very important to know what people are typing into that field on your website. It can show you what people are looking for when they can't find what they need. It can show you the most popular product or product type on your site. It can show you whether you're using the right names for your products. Maybe you call your product a writing stick and people are searching for pencils. You never know. Uh, if you can find that kind of information out, it's pure gold. Uh, and I've seen cases where by simply refocusing your website on the top four or five internal site search terms, you can realize a gain literally in conversion rate of as much as 20%. All you have to do is know what those top search terms are and make sure that your home page features those items or that related content. So how do you set all this up? How, do you, how can you know what people are searching for within your site? Well, you need two things. First, you need a Google custom search engine. And if you don't have one of these set up, you can take a look at an earlier video tutorial I did about a week and a half ago about Google Custom Search. And actually, there's a link to that tutorial in the blog entry that features this video tutorial. But just setting up a Google Custom Search Engine isn't enough. Because while it has a nice little statistical window here that shows you what's going on as far as volume of searches, it will only show you the most popular queries it won't show you all of them and it will only show them if there are a lot of searches on your site. So if you're a tiny little blog struggling for attention like mine uh, where you have, you know, you've had 64 search queries this month, uh, you're not going to get any useful statistics. So the solution is to pull together Google Custom Search and Google Analytics. And I'm going to walk you through exactly how you do that now. The first step, like I said, is to set up your Google Custom Search Engine. And again, you can follow the video tutorial. The second step is if you don't have it, set up Google Analytics. If you do have it, just log in. And when you log in, you'll go directly to the correct report profile. I just have a lot of reports in here. Uh, when you see your website profiles here, and you can see it here, You'll click Edit under Settings and scroll down and you'll see Filters Applied to Profile. Filters are a very powerful feature of Google Analytics. They let you do a lot of things with manipulating the data that's going into Google Analytics to make it easier to read, to exclude certain kinds of data, um, and to grab little bits and chunks of data from page queries from web addresses typed in on your site and from other data that people enter into your website. And that's what we're going to do here. You're going to add a filter and what that filter is going to do is it's going to grab this little bit of information. See where it says conversation marketing. That was the phrase that I searched for. It's going to grab it out of all of this gobbledygook. And it's going to turn that into a nice simple report so you can see what people are searching for. So you'll click Add Filter. You'll click Custom Filter. 
and then advanced. And you can name the filter anything you want, doesn't matter. I call mine usually something like internal search. And then I'm going to actually go back and just show you what I entered in. But you're going to fill out this field, field A, extract A, output 2, and then leave everything else exactly the same. And I'll show you exactly what the final filter looks like. And if you look right below this video in the blog entry, you'll see that I've added detailed instructions step by step so that you can go through and do the exact same thing. So if you look right here, I named this one Google Search 2. It's a custom filter. It's advanced. Request URI, that's a really fancy way of saying the address of the page that it goes to. So the request URI in this case is all this stuff up here. So that's what we're going to filter on. That's what the advanced filter is going to do. It's going to go through this and extract some data from it. This is the heart of it. And this is what's called a regular expression. Uh, you don't really have to understand exactly how it works. To be perfectly honest, after five years of working with regular expressions, I don't understand exactly how it works. The basics are it's searching for Q equals and then it's going to keep the data after, e after the equal sign. It's going to save it and then it's searching for the end of the what we want. And the end of what we want is ampersand SA equals search. If you take a look here, you'll notice there's a Q equals, then what we want, conversation marketing, and then SA equals search. So I'm just using, I'm matching a pattern and I'm grabbing the middle basically of the pattern, everything between this equal sign and this ampersand. You really don't have to know how that works, but for those of you who did want to, go for it. There's a lot of good books about regular expressions out there. Uh, for me, understanding regular expressions is like pu pulling my lower lip over my head, so I just, you're going to have to go somewhere else for regular expression expertise, but this does work. It does what you want to do. What you want to do then is you want to output that information to a variable that Google Analytics can show. That's what the output to constructor is. It's a very fancy way of saying where, you want, you know, where do you want me to show you this data? And in this case, I'm going to show it in the page title. So instead of showing the normal page title for this, which is up here, Internet Marketing Strategies, Conversation Marketing, Contact Information, I'm just going to put the word, the phrase search to, and then what I call a pipe symbol, and you can use a dash or whatever you like, and then the contents of this field, this little bit of data here. That was saved to a variable called A1. And by putting a dollar sign in front of it, I'm just telling Google, save it here. And again, you do not need to know, understand exactly what's going in here. If you put in this exact information, this will work for you. Then you make sure field A is required, field B is not, because we're not using it. Just leave this set to yes, leave case sensitive set to no. We don't care what the capitalization is, and click save changes. Then you can go away, it'll take about 24 hours for this to show real data. Uh, Google Analytics has a little bit of a delay. But if you then go in, and I'll take a look here, if you go under content in your report, and then content by title, so it's now showing me the title tags of all the pages that have been viewed on my site. And if I find page title containing search2, remember we had search2 added into the page title, notice it immediately shows me all the phrases that have been searched on using my internal search tool on my site. So here's a whole bunch of test results I did. Ian's test, Monday test, test Monday, cheetahs, I did not search on cheetahs, somebody else did. Um, these are all the phrases that over the last 24 hours or so folks have searched for using my internal search tool. And that's it. Once you have this, you'll have very good information as to exactly what people are searching for within your site. Uh, this kind of information, again, can be used to increase conversions. It can be used to see where people can't find stuff. Uh, it can help you find any other information about how folks are using your site. Uh, that's it for today. Take a look at the text procedure that I put below this video if you want to see, it again, a step-by-step -step that you can follow as you set this up. And as always, leave a comment below this blog entry if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.